what makes a lead-acid battery so bad for the environment? At Dragonfly Energy, we've talked a lot about the disadvantages of lead-acid batteries, particularly their adverse health effects. And in fact, here we like to say lead is dead because we are really trying to displace lead-acid batteries as much as we can with our lithium-ion battery alternatives. The reason is lead is actually a heavy, toxic metal. It has adverse health effects, especially for children and pregnant women. And ultimately, inside a lead-acid battery, we don't have any exposure to it, but what happens at the end of life is the battery has to be re recycled and the lead needs to be reclaimed because if it's not, it will get into the environment. If it gets burned or smelted, if it gets put into a landfill, it can be leached uh, into the groundwater, uh, it can be inhaled if it's smelted, if it gets into the air, and these have really awful effects on the health, especially in the third world where there's not a lot of lead acid battery recycling. So we have a concerted effort here at Dragon Fly Energy for the environment to deploy uh, on a more mass scale the use of lithium ion batteries for deep cycle applications where lead acid batteries currently dominate. In addition to the health effects, it's actually safer to apply a lithium ion battery system with a good robust BMS to protect against errant voltages and currents. Lead acid batteries actually don't have any control at all, any protection at all. So if you short a lead acid battery, there's nothing to prevent uh, the resulting fire, the resulting very high currents that, that could occur. So it's actually safer to have a lithium ion battery in your system, kind of counterintuitive because lithium ion battery has its own history, but as it turns out, a good lithium iron phosphate system with a very quality BMS is a safer system to have in your RV, in your boat.